You know, bro? <laughs> What's going on, slave tards? I feel like a woman, even though I'm not a woman, and I could never, ever know what it feels like to be a woman because I'm not a woman, and, and stuff some plastic bags under my freaking chest and give myself some boobs and cut my genitalia off and turn them inside out so I can have a vagina. And I'm a woman! Look, I'm free! How can you even talk about this? You're, you're not an authority. The wood spoon of love. The spatula of love, right? It is love. If you don't stop them from doing it, it is love. The wood spoon of love. Yet they keep climbing up. And you tell them, no, no, get off that desk. Do not touch that desk. And they just look at you and smile and, and look, look to see if you're looking and go over there and do it anyway. And you keep telling them, no, no, no. Dude, that's, that's whooping time. Like whooping time. The wood spoon of love. Now we're all progressive. We know better. We, we understand how the world should be. Uh, we're, we're advancing in our thinking. So we still have a male and female species, right? It's very apparent that a man has a penis and a woman has a vagina for a reason, but perfectly normal and natural. It's looked that way because people are born that way today, and they are, they are. Matter of fact, you're brave. Let's, let's glorify it. Let's flaunt it all over the place as the new normal, as the new, you know, uh, uh, thing that now we have the wood spoon of love. It's the, there's nothing unnatural about it. It's completely natural. It's the way nature intended it. The wood spoon of love. That's just the way I feel. You know, maybe I'm just a young, dumb, idiot, redneck, you know, bigot, but that's the way I feel. Peace.